Hello all, welcome in this ERP SAP team channel. Uh, today uh, we are discussing in this tutorial that how can we sell of non-valuated materials like uh, waste papers, packing materials, expired RCVs and all. Okay, so for this uh, we have discussed already the theoretical portion of this and today we are going to discuss the practical aspects uh, of this tutorial. How can we do each and everything step by step in SAP? Okay, so we are going to do first and major portion of uh, this uh, process is uh, extend the non valuated material in SAP. Okay, uh, we, uh, we have already uh, extended the material in our plants, so we are going to we are going to create a reservation. Okay. Using ZMM60 process, we are already uh, extended this material in our plant. So, uh, ZSON type of the material we have already extended. Okay, what are the ZSON type of the material? Is non valuated for scrapping. Uh, in ZMM60, uh, all the material of the ZSON category will be displayed here. This is the adjacent code of this material. Okay, so hope you understand this process okay we have already uh, extended this material okay so we in the reservation creation you need to fill the base date moment type is 541 okay moment type is 501 okay plant is 1701 and here you need to fill the good recipient and material code quantity uh, SLOC and batch batch is not mandatory GL account is not uh, necessary in this case okay but here GL account is not necessary but I have filled this uh, GL account okay Hope you understand this process. Okay. See, uh, in our manual process, GL account is not there. So I'm just uh, removing this GL account, but there is an option in the GL account. Okay. So you need to fill the material code quantity. The quantity is the quantity is the whole quantity for which you want to going to create the sale orders. Okay. So here I have filled the quantities 3727, okay, 3727, okay. I repeating again, this is purely uh, tutorial for training purpose, okay. In the MB52, I have already created the reservation. Uh, I have already created the reservation, okay. So uh, here uh, storage location is 6100. Okay, which is our required storage location batch is not mandatory but while creating the reservation if you are uh, saving then system will if system is giving you error then you need to maintain the batch our reservation number is uh, posted our reservation number is posted and the next step is to good receipt against this reservation good receipt against this reservation number okay we have paper raddi, file cover raddi, and paper cover raddi. So, for uh, this type of the material, I have created the reservation for 3750 kg. Hope you understand. And the second step is MIZO. You have to run the transaction code MIZO uh, for which uh, we need to receive these quantity uh, in our storage location. Okay. we have to receive this quantity in our storage location okay uh, this is our reservation number okay here you need to fill the reservation number here is the quantity which uh, for which we have created in our reservation okay and uh, you need to extend these all the data uh, click on the okay click on the posting date here you need to fill the document header test if everything is all right, green indicator is there, you need to set the post. Okay. Then a material document is generated here. Okay. Again, you can check this uh, document in MB52. MB52 uh, 
सिक्स वन डबल जीरो एंड यू कैन क्लियरली चेक दैट इफ जेड एस ओ एन टाइप ऑफ द मटेरियल इन एम बी फिफ्टी टू जेड एस ओ एन टाइप ऑफ द मटेरियल वी हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट रिसीव दिस क्वान्टिटी सी थ्री सेवन टू सेवन क्वान्टिटी के जी क्वान्टिटी वी हैव रिसीव अगेंस्ट द रिजर्वेशन सो दिस क्वान्टिटी इज रिफ्लेक्टेड ओके सो वट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज yeah next step is we need to create the sales order with uh, the the material quantity which i have received in our storage location by using of that quantity we create the scrap sale order against the customer okay so the next process is the creation of the sales order against that customer for this we execute the transaction code va01 okay order type z v a 01 for which by using this we are going to create the scrap sale order okay order type is zsc sales organization is 1017 in my case distribution channel is uh, direct sales division is scrap okay scrap okay sales office is 1701 in my case and click on the enter okay once you fill all these data then click on the enter here you need to fill customer code here you need to fill the ship to party here you can fill po number po date okay okay this is our in case this is our customer code okay here you need to fill the sold to party and ship to party in both the fields you need to fill the customer code in the purchase order number you need to fill the purchase order number po date okay in order reason you need to fill the scrap sale through others we are frequently selling the scrap sales to the mstc but here i am not going to sell through mstc here i am going to sell the m through others okay and here you need to fill the payment terms is 05 100% advance payment okay and uh, here you need to uh, fill the material code the material code which is available in our storage location that is uh, uh, 6520002 for this we need to create the sales order for 1046.2 kg 1046.2 kg okay so please create the and uh, this is the billing uh, details uh, this is the rate this is the gst details and this is the tcs details so 1046.2 kg quantity is uh, kg in the description you can change the lot name what is the actual name of the lot lot of raddi papers lot of scrap raddi papers lot of waste papers so this description field is actually editable and what what the matter you written here the same will be reflect in your invoice so depending on your uh, convenience you can uh, write here what what is the actual material uh, that is reflecting in the, your invoice okay a storage location you need to fill the storage location he, he you can fill the storage location net weight gross weight net weight and gross weight okay and then actually click on the enter in once you click on the enter system will fetch all the data of the material and uh, uh, the next process is select this line item select this line item and click on this uh, display tab in the detail tab click on this detail tab okay select the line item and click on the detail tab okay go in the condition tab go in the condition tab and here you need to fill the basic price zpro here you need to fill the basic price of per quantity and i'm just uh, going to fill the basic quantity of uh, this price per kg price price of uh, this material uh, okay once you maintain uh, this per kg price this uh, 12.258 rupees 
12.258 rupees okay 12.258 rupees system is not taking the data of the three digit decimal you need to maintain this data up to two digit of the decimal point okay 12.26 we have maintained see this is the basic price this is the gst amount see uh, this is the tcs amount 320.6 is 320.6 is, is is total amount so all the taxes 320.60 is 2.5 percent cgst 3.320.6079 is, is uh, sgst this is a uh, gst rate okay because the customer is in our uh, within the states that's why uh, his uh, cgst and uh, sgst is applicable here basic plus gst 1% 1% of basic plus gst is the tcs amount okay so this is the uh, total base amount and and see this is the total base amount this is the total base amount and uh, this is total tax amount tax amount is in uh, tax amount is uh, comprises of your uh, gst and tcs portion hope you understand so we are going to create the sales order and uh, every, if every, everything is all right then you need to save and sales document your sales order document will generate here okay your sales order document will generate here hope you understand so this is the way how can you create all the process in sap in very easy manner okay so next process is you need to create the outbound delivery outbound delivery in case of your sales order so what is the transaction code for creation of the outbound delivery is uh, VL01N VL01N we are going to create the outbound delivery in case of our sales order we are going to create the outbound delivery in case of sales order so here you need to fill your sales order number the data which I have uh, filled in our uh, sales order is reflecting here you need to uh, select the, this line and click on the post good issue PGI once you click on the PGI and save, then a outbound delivery has been generated. This is 83110876. This is outbound delivery. What is the meaning of this delivery is we have successfully good issue the material quantity to the scrap customer. Once we have successfully finished this data, then next process is to create the sales invoice see this is the sales order number obd number this is the good issue document number now next process is to create the sales invoice now uh, how we can create the sales invoice using the transaction code vf01 vf in the vf01 you can create the sales invoice how can we create the sales invoice? We can create the sales invoice with respect to our uh, OBD number. OBD number is the directory reflecting. And once we save the sales order number, a sales invoice will generate. This is the uh, uh, customer invoice. This is the sales invoice number and all. Okay. This is the sales invoice number. Now the next, next step is you can you can maintain the uh, system record uh, system record in the for a uh, go in the vf02 go in the vf02 and uh, in the header data go in the vf02 in the header data in output you can maintain the uh, output condition in output condition we need to maintain the zscp 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 is a scrap invoice printout median, okay. And here you need to click on the print immediately, release after output, go in the back, go in the back. A, a logical destination is LOCL. This is maintained for the default printer in our case. Okay, go in the back, print only, go in the back. 
okay go in the back and click on the save our uh, output condition has been successfully maintained now click on the issue output 2 and click on this data cp and click on the print and here you uncheck the delete after output and click on the print system will generate the scrap invoice system will generate the scrap invoice in the pdf format hope you understand system will generate the pdf uh, invoice okay you can save uh, this uh, invoice in the pdf format in your location okay so system will uh, generate this data this is our total invoice uh, is uh, basic plus gst and tax and customer details see this is our uh, basic this is our gst and this is this is our uh, invoice number this is our uh, qr code eway bill numbers and all okay so how can we uh, take the print out of this is uh, the process okay thank you for watching this okay and if you have any query you don't in your mind then uh, you can mention in your comment section thank you